Apple just released the fifth developer beta of iOS 18. Here's everything new, and this time around, we have huge changes, including reversions in the Photos app and an exciting new feature for Safari. Before we get into things, be sure you're subscribed with those notifications turned on to keep up to date with all of the latest Apple news. So this update is the fifth beta for developers. The public beta will likely follow soon. This is also specifically so far for only iOS 18.0, not 18.1. So if you jumped to iOS 18.1 to test out Apple Intelligence, you're gonna have to wait for Apple to issue a second beta build for that version number. For me, coming from the fourth beta of iOS 18, this update weighed in at 1.42 gigs. Diving into settings, we can see the version number is 22A5326F. If you aren't familiar, as we get closer and closer to release that last letter, we'll get closer and closer to A increasing or showing increased stability. So again, as we approach September, we're gonna get closer to the beginning of the alphabet with that last letter, but that's the updated build number. The headlining feature of this update is a whole new feature we haven't seen before called distraction control. It lives in Safari and helps you essentially remove distracting parts of a web page to help you focus on what's most important the content. This could be anything from sign-in banners or obnoxious content overlays, and yes, even ads. Here's how you can use it. I have my iPhone 15 Plus updated to the beta 5 of iOS 18. First, I'm going to open a page inside of Safari. How about this recent healthy chicken and dumplings recipe that I tried? As you can see, there's a lot going on here. So I'm going to hide some of these distractions by going to the smart search bar at the bottom of the screen. Then I tap hide distracting items. The first time you do this, it does make sure to be clear that this is not permanent and it won't work on areas that are frequently changing or updating on the page. Then select any items on the page you want to remove. Once you tap an item to hide, they just like wisp away, like Thanos snapped his fingers. It's, it's a seriously cool animation. Apple's been going hard on animations lately. I mean, you guys have seen the ones for flashlight and for adjusting the action button. Like there's some really cool animations in iOS 18 and this is just the newest one of them. You can then use the web page as normal, follow along with the recipe without those distractions. To show them again, just go back to the search field at the bottom and tap show hidden items. It's literally that easy. I can see this being a hugely popular feature for users. Interestingly, we here at Apple Insider actually reported on this prior to WWDC and referred to it as Web Eraser. Still, it's very cool to see how this played out and what the final feature is starting to look like. I think what's interesting to acknowledge here is that distraction control is not the same thing as an ad blocker. I mean, it only is going to apply to what the user decides to hide. In fact, they're looking at those ads when they decide to hide them. It's kind of just like persistent on the page. And every time that you refresh, all of those distractions come right back, including any ads. I was even blocking them on this you know, site right here when I was looking at this recipe and the one in the bottom corner just kept coming back as it was refreshing and coming up with new ad content. So this is not going to be the same thing as an ad blocker, which there is widely available on iOS and macOS and iPadOS. Uh, this is just more about removing distractions and bringing that content forward which as a content creator, I very much appreciate. It'll be available here in iOS, as well as in macOS Sequoia and iPadOS 18. Let me know down below in the comments if this is a feature that you'll be using when iOS 18 finally releases. Aside from distraction control in iOS 18 beta 5, the other big change is coming to photos and it'll probably please a lot of you. Real quick, while I've got you here, give me just like a minute to tell you about my sponsor for this video and these amazing iPhone cases. Starting out with the classic hybrid case. It's a clear shell case, but since it's a hybrid case, it's also a little bit flexible. Probably the best part is the do it all stack stand that is built in right around the lenses. You can browse or watch videos at any angle between 15 and 85 degrees. This case also has super strong magnets, up to 1500 G of pull strength. My favorite case of the three is this soft cloud case. It also has that built-in do-it-all stash stand. It has very strong magnets. If you're saying, Andrew, I need more protection than that, don't worry, ESR has got you covered too with their armor tough case. This is really gonna protect your phone. 
It's a two-piece design with 360 degree total phone protection. Armor 8 camera lens protectors on the back, shock absorbing air guard corners, tough clear acrylic back, dual layer edges, built in Armor 8 screen protector, dust shield and 13 feet of drop protection. And as you probably expected, it also has the built in do it all stash stand and super strong MagSafe connection for any and all of your accessories. Maybe you're not a case person, but I really recommend using a screen protector. And there's new Armorite screen protectors from ESR that are super easy to install with an automatic dust removal tool and a flawless fit tray. Thank you as always to ESR for sponsoring this video. If you want to grab any of these accessories, there's links for them down below in the description. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. So the Photos app was massively redesigned and it has had a somewhat of a controversial reception. Well, no one can say Apple doesn't listen to beta feedback because Photos is getting heavily tweaked. The top feature carousel has been removed entirely, which starts to make it look a lot more like the Photos app of iOS 17. All Photos has also been modified to show more of the Photos grid. Any content that you've recently saved will show in the recent days collection that for me sits just below the photos grid. And at the bottom of the app, it has changed from customize to customize and reorder, likely in an attempt to make it easier to understand how the app can be tweaked to fit a user's preferences. I just did a full roundup of the changes in photos app, which you can see linked here. And honestly, I really like it. I've seen the comments. I know a lot of uh, people, a lot of you had issues with it and found it complicated. But once I started using it, I really fell in love with it, especially that featured carousel, which is now gone. It was a great way to see memories or other collections that I wanted to pin. But enough users had issues that Apple addressed them in this latest beta. Otherwise, I haven't spotted too many other changes this time around. I did spot a small icon change. Maps has a new dark tinted version, removing all the colors except for the blue. It's fine. If you spot anything else, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. We'll include them in our article and even cite you if you are the first one to find it. Apple's planning to release iOS 18 this fall alongside watchOS 11, iPadOS 18, Mac OS Sequoia, tvOS 18, and HomePod software update 18. As always, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the latest Apple news and rumors. See you in the next video. This is, this is so cool. This is all, it's, well, pew. We need like a sound effect, pew, pew. This one down here, pew. Let's go away, so much cleaner.